In today's video, I'll be talking about how the liberals lie to me about guns. Things that I believed, because I listened to the liberals, that guns were just this thing you could buy, like some candy in the convenience store. And as a new gun owner at the time, when I went to get my first gun, I believed it and I was greatly disappointed when I find out how gun laws really work. I thought I can get myself a Uzi, an AK-47, M16, sawed-off shotgun, Tommy gun, and I can just carry whatever I, whatever gun I want in the street, and none of that's true. But first thing I want to start with is the background checks. And now this is a simple one. And in my state, it's not too big of a deal. First gun I got, I went in and they gave me an iPad for I can get my background check, and it was very fast. They just do their little computers, and it's like, okay. You can get your gun and that's it now for other places if you live in a real strict or strict state like massachusetts it's going to be a little different and i'm probably some other places you don't even need background checks but the, the way the liberals explain the background checks is that basically they don't exist but in pretty much every state in the country maybe like one or two maybe three i know in mississippi they don't have background checks but just about every state in the country as background checks and you have to do it and like i said some are faster than others but it's not a big deal or something you have to worry about if you're not a criminal and i know some people believe that criminals should be able to own guns but that's a whole different conversation but yeah it's not a big deal to me because i don't have anything on my record so it's like okay i do a background check oh what the liberals want is universal background checks but to me it's like it's still a background check it doesn't really matter regardless if you already have background checks it's like because they don't know anything about guns so they just assume it's like the tv or movies someone walks in i want this and they walk out not how it works everyone needs a background check so next is you can't buy any gun you want now this is the one that really just turned my world upside down because like i said i wanted to buy some of the greatest machine guns that i could think of like my main guns was M16, AK-47, and Uzi, and I did also think it would be cool to get a Tommy gun. Unfortunately, I can't get those because machine guns are extremely, like, very heavy regulated in just about every state, and they cost thousands of dollars. Like, a M16 costs about $40,000, AK-47, I think thirty, and the Uzi can, is at least $15,000. So yeah, these guns are super expensive you're only going to get them if you're rich but the liberals will have you thinking that you can just get these just walk into the store and get them if you walk into a gun store you're not even going to see any of these maybe some have some gun um ranges might have a machine gun for rental but it's just for rental and it probably costs thousands of dollars that the average person cannot afford and the way they talk about ar-15s is that it's this military grade machine gun it's not it's a semi-automatic rifle that civilians can use it's not a machine gun and i used to think that because when i bought my first my ar-15 that i have i went to the gun range well no actually first i went to the gun range rented one got the ar-15 and i think it's going to go because i succumbed to the propaganda not what happened it was just semi-automatic got to pull the trigger every time you want to fire can't hold it now it does differ state to state. So in certain states, there are type of even semi-automatic guns that you just can't buy because they ban them for whatever reason, just to be jerks. And in California, I heard they have some weird thing where it's like you can buy certain Glocks and certain ones you can't buy. Like maybe you can buy a 19, but you can't buy a 17 or a 20. I don't know exactly, but something like that. In my state of Maryland, there's certain we have a certain a limited amount of rounds you can carry the magazine. And it's 10 rounds. It's very stupid. But you can find a way to get longer ones like 30s and 40 rounds and drums. But I wanted a AK style rifle, right? And I came to find out I can't get that because fixed magazine, 30 rounds, and that's illegal in the state of Maryland. It's very unfortunate. And there's one guy at the gun range I go to. He said he has one kind of... Um, Gun like that and it's like at least 1600 so again another super regulated gun that only the rich people can get 
So if you're going to be new to firearms, don't believe the liberals saying you can get any gun you want. Look up your laws first, because if you don't, you're going to be super disappointed when you want a certain gun and you can't get it because it's illegal. So third thing is constitutional carry slash permits. That's what I'm going to call this section. And that basically is there are certain permits and permits, licenses that you have to get if you want to either own guns or carry them. So first, I'm going to start with the HQL. In my state, you need an HQL to buy a handgun. And the process goes like you sign up for a class, do a four-hour class, you have do some paperwork and do your fingerprints, and after a couple weeks, you get your license. That's basically how it is. I'm not going to go over the whole process. It's fucking annoying. But that's what we have to do in Maryland. In some other states like New York, you probably have to go through way more massachusetts way more and there's other constitutional states which means you don't have to go through all this crap that people like us and stupid states have to do the blue states and you can just carry it if you want to and if you have constitutional carry you don't have to get the hql or concealed carry now the hql and the concealed carry two different things just because you have the hql you can't just carry your gun and conceal it or else you'll become a felon, even if you want to defend yourself. Constitutional carry, that's an even longer process. It's way more hours. I don't remember, but it's way more hours. And just take, just see it as double the work, at least in my state. But if you're in Texas, you don't have to do that. You can carry it on your hip. You probably shouldn't open carry, but you can if you want to. You can seal it without no problem. Now, once again... The liberals will have you thinking that you can just carry it whenever you want because that's how America works. Like, we're a third world country in a war zone. <laughs> we're not. If you do that, you're going to go to jail. Four, red flag laws. Now, this is going to be one of the dumbest ones I'm going to go over. And I don't want to make this one too long. But here's the thing. If you're buying guns and ammo and you're doing all this paperwork, going to the gun range, the government knows who you are. They know what guns you have. So it's not like you can do these things under the radar. If you do it under the radar, you're probably doing it illegally and get caught to go to jail anyway. So with the red flag laws is basically, I'll put it this way. I'll make it sound the dumbest, dumbest way I possibly can. If somebody doesn't like you, they can call up a certain number. They can call up daddy government and say, I think this person's a threat. I think he's a danger. He has guns. And basically, they can come in, their low warrants, and take your guns away from you. Liberals say stuff like that doesn't exist, or they push for it, and it's super unconstitutional. Like, it's so unconstitutional. It's like, if somebody's protesting for a certain country, I'll say, and the government comes in and says, you can't do that because you're a danger. It's the same thing. Second Amendment and First Amendment rights that they're trying to take away from us. And the last one is I can only buy one month for 30 days in the state of Maryland. And that really sucks. Because if I got the money and I want to buy two guns, I just simply can't. Like, there's not even a way I can do that unless I do it illegally. I buy a gun at the store, then I buy one on the street. And that's just, it's just so dumb. And it makes me jealous of other places. They can say, oh, I want to buy this gun today. I think after I get paid, next couple of weeks, I'm buy another gun. Can't do that. You gotta wait 30 days. But I guess you can just take it for what it is and maybe save up for a better gun. And you have to wait at the end of that period. But yeah, just stupid stuff and it's just really unnecessary. So that'll wrap up this video on how liberals lied to me. If you're planning on being a gun owner and getting into guns, do not listen to liberals. They're lying. Do your research on your own. And then if you're going to the, start, the shop, or the range ask them instead but with that being said that's all i got for this video and i'll see you next time